Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about this, the new Cube Orange Plus. Now over the last few months there's been a lot of turbulence in the chip industry around the world and as a result of this we've seen a lot of flight controllers increase in price and availability change quite dramatically as well. Cube Pilot are not the only manufacturer affected by this and many people have commented that they have seen pricing of flight controllers across the board increase with the Cube in some places even doubling. Now today I want to walk you through a new version of the Cube Orange called the Cube Orange Plus. This is an updated version of the Cube that is fully backwards compatible with all previous carrier boards. However, it is designed to bring the Cube back into availability, but also hopefully bring the price back down towards the area we've seen it in the past as well. Now, what we're going to do today is just give you an overview of this new flight controller. I'm not going to go into great depth on the Cube in this video. I already have videos on that. I will link to my main overview video of the different Cube modules in the description of this this one if you want to see a lot more about the ecosystem. Today we're going to concentrate on the differences on the new Cube Plus compared to the previous models and then really just share with you some thoughts around that. So let's jump in, let's take a closer look at what's changed. Okay so what we have here is the new Cube Orange Plus. Now this is an up dated version of the orange. The reason for this is due to the current chip shortage we find ourselves in around the world and as a result of that Qpilot have had to keep making changes to their autopilots to allow them to be able to keep supplying them. You may have noticed that the current orange Qpilot has gone up in price and that is simply as a result of the massive increasing costs of the components used in it. The big idea of the Cube Orange Plus is to now again again try and bring that back in line with regards to pricing and allow people once again to be able to get the fantastic Cube Autopilot in a reasonably priced package. Now if you don't know what the Cube is, it is an autopilot or flight controller that is designed to be used with Ardra Pilot or PX4. The Cube Autopilot is one of the most well known in the industry and it is also one of the most reliable as well. It started with the Cube Black and it's evolved over the years up until the point where we had the Cube Orange and now the Cube Cube Orange Plus, but the real big benefit of this system is that all of the autopilot modules are fully backwards compatible with all of the carrier boards, which means if you have an older Cube, you can upgrade it to the newer Cube simply by just swapping the module. It also has quite a large ecosystem around it now as well with the Here series of GPS modules and Here Link 2 and it's widely accepted as being one of the best go-to autopilots especially in the commercial and industrial market. Now if we lift the lid the first thing you'll notice is it pretty much looks the same apart from we now have a little plus symbol. If we lift it out you'll see that it still comes in the same carrier board. So we still have the main carrier board. We still have that ADS-B input and we still have all of the usual ports and functionality. Nothing has changed. We still have our dual power ports. We have our servo IO ports down the bottom here. And then if I flip it around that way, you can see we have our traditional GPS, our CAN bus ports, our telemetry ports. Again, on the carrier board side of things, everything is exactly the same. The real big thing with the Cube Plus Orange as well is that it is fully backwards compatible with all of the existing carrier boards. There are no changes. It is simply the changes to the Cube module itself. Now, walking you through the specific spec changes on the Cube Orange Plus, we now have the STM32H757. This is a dual core CPU rather than the single core than we had in the original Orange. It features the same 480 megahertz Cortex M7 core, but it also now has a 240 megs Cortex M4 core as well. It still has two megabytes of flash, one megabyte of RAM, but there are changes to the IMUs on this cube compared to the last one as well. We now have the ICM20948 and the ICM42688, which are the vibration isolated IMUs. And then we have an ICM20649, which is the 
fixed IMU on the main board. We still have two MS5611 Barrow sensors, again one on the vibration board and one on the main FMU board and all of the sensors are connected via SPI as it was on the previous version. We still have that vibration isolated setup inside with two of the IMUs and a Barrow sensor on that vibration isolated board and the other IMU and Barrow located on the main FMU board. As I've said, the upgrades are simply done to allow you to be able to buy this autopilot and allow the pricing to be able to come down a little bit as well. It's been really difficult for the guys at Cube Pilot to not only be able to keep their products in stock in the current situation, but also not be affected by the massive increases in costs that we've seen as a result of the chip shortage. So there, as you've seen, overall, the updates on the new Cube Orange Plus are pretty minor. We now have a dual core CPU rather than a single core, and there are some changes to the IMUs. But really, the specification change is less about performance improvement and more about availability. And this is going to allow them to bring the Cube again back into stock. Now, there is new cubes around the corner which are going to offer a lot more interesting features and capabilities as well so please do make sure you're subscribed to the channel for when they release because i will be talking about them too overall the real nice thing with this update is that it is fully backwards compatible as they have been in the past. The great thing about Cube Pilot is that all of their modules as of today are fully backwards compatible with all of their carrier boards. So if you have an existing system and you want to upgrade, so for instance, if you have a Cube Black, you can simply remove the module, pop the orange in, and then update your software and be ready to go. QPilot is fully supported in Ardrapilot as well, and these new versions are fully supported as well, so you don't have to worry about things such as compatibility. Now, the new Cube Orange Plus is available to order from 3DXR in the UK if you're interested in getting one. If you don't know who 3DXR are, they are a large Cube Pilot dealer based in the UK. But not only do they sell Cube Pilot gear, they sell pretty much everything you need to get yourself up and running with a plane, drone, or boat. And they have a wide range of stock from the Cube Pilot systems right through to motors and everything else as well. If you want to get yourself one of these, there is a link to 3DXR in the description of this video. And I want to say a massive thank you to Ben over at 3DXR for his continued support of the channel. I would not be able to keep making videos like this in the future if it wasn't for their support. I will also be talking about the new Here Plus module in the next couple of days, and I will also be talking about the new updated version of Here Link as well. So if you're interested in seeing that, please do make sure you are a subscriber, and please do make sure you've hit the little bell as well. That way you'll get updates when the videos release. Finally, I just want to say if you'd like to support the channel to allow us to keep making content, there is a link to my Patreon in the description. It's only through the support of my Patreons am I able to keep the channel running, so if you are interested in supporting us, please do check it out. Now, if you have any questions on the new updated Orange Plus, please do put it in the comment section and I will try and answer them as soon as I possibly can. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.